tucked in this corner of a neighborhood in Tacoma. Hey there, when the sun sets on Halloween, welcome to the fun house. Kevin Getman's yard comes out to play. Let's get me! It's the only day of the year you can chase a group of kids with a chainsaw and not get put in jail. This is Kevin. That's probably not going to be anything you want to publish. Halloween <laughs> is his holiday. It's the truth. His home has a reputation as one of the scariest houses in the neighborhood. We, we add a few bits and pieces every year. Uh, we, we chose to do clowns up front, uh, a butcher shop at the back of the driveway, and uh, a cemetery on the left side. And it, it works out pretty well. And of course, there's camp. Happy Halloween. We bought 2,400. I don't think we'll go through all of them. I, I would think maybe 1,800. And we try to make it one piece of candy per child to keep it somewhat economical two pieces doubles the amount of money I spent on candy. He'll tell you people from all over come to look at the terror, making the hours of work worth it. The kids love it, so I continue to do it. <laughs> well done, Ethan. This is Ethan, by the way. There it is, pure joy. Kevin has another surprise, one trick-or-treaters might not catch. Today is Halloween and my birthday. A Halloween birthday as a child isn't nearly as fun. Everybody has parties, they're not necessarily for you, uh, so I've chosen to kind of turn it around and, and make it uh, uh, make it a, a bit more fun for me as I've gotten older. And the neighborhood doesn't appear to be too frightened. Kevin's already planning for next year. To have freedom to, to scare kids one day out of the year, it's, uh, I take full advantage of it and it's, it's, it's fun. Tally Greenberg, King 5 News.